Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you requiring it, we have simultaneous translation on the on the headsets. Um, after Mr. Klopp's finish, we will have James Milner. Finney. Uh, Jürgen, qualified, but obviously win by four goals and you top the group. So <laughs> do you go as strong as fitness within your group allows you to, or on this occasion do you have to think more about resting as many players as possible because you do have that big game against Spurs coming up at the weekend? At first and foremost, it's pretty quick. Around since um, we played and uh, uh, against Leeds, so um, I'm not fully aware of the, the situation with the players who played against uh, Leeds, and we have to, I still have to wait for that um, exactly. And then, uh, for sure, we, we, we will not take risks, but we cannot. Um, and if you watch football a little bit in the national football, then you would probably know or will know that um, Napoli is an incredible shape, um, plays incredible football. Uh, top of the table in Italy, uh, maybe the team in form in Europe in the moment. So um, this is not a game for a massive rotation, probably, um, because it's not about the, 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 the <laughs> that, we could, that we have to win 4-0 or whatever to, to go top of the group. Um, we want to win the game, obviously, that's clear. Um, but the result in the moment is not is not really is not really important. So we, I have to make the, the lineup later today, um, maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll see, and then um, we go from there. Is there a sense then, from the way that you're speaking, that you're going in mentally with a, a point to prove against Napoli because of what happened in in Naples? A point to prove. I'm not sure. That's a that's a. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't frame it as as revenge either. You see, so I'm trying to find the balance. But obviously, there's a motivation there to to put right what went wrong in in Naples. I would think. Look, in a, in, a, in a Champions League group stage, the most important thing is that you that you um, get through it and that you get qualified for the knockout stages. So um, for for the last 16, and um, that's what we did. So and from here we go. So it's a football game. It's worldwide broadcasted. It's um, we have a full Anfield road. So that means we have to put a proper shift in, and that's what we will do. And but before that, we need to be we need to have the players who have the um, um, the physical possibilities to do that. And that's what I, I don't know in the moment who that will be. And that's why that's what I'm thinking about. And then when I know who we can and will line up, then I think about um, the possible. Um, outcome or whatever or what we have to do in, in specific moments which system we can play or have to play and all these kind of things but again we play against a team who's he's um, really well, yeah, pretty well tuned um, everybody knows exactly what they're doing you can see that they are straightforward they they defend together they the counter attacks are, are, are really good and um, they they play some good stuff and that's what we think about and not the first game against Napoli or what we have to put right or these kind of things. It's a, it is a challenge but that's fine, um, no problem with that and um, yeah, about how I start thinking after the press conference. And just to check if there's one player's fitness you know about, Joel, is, is he ready? No. To, not, not ready. Chris. Um, Jürgen, um, tomorrow, sorry. Um, Jürgen, can we expect tomorrow Ibrahima Konate to play tomorrow? And given how good he was in the defence last season, how big will it be to have him back fully available? It's very good that we have him back. He was not, he was, he was ready, um, he was ready for the squad now, and now maybe it's the moment where he, where we can, uh, where he can play. Um, but again, he trained yesterday completely normal again, which is very helpful. He had now a full week, eight nine days where he trained, could train each session. That's obviously very good. So yeah. He's, a, he's for sure an option. And I know going behind has been discussed a lot this season, but in terms of going behind early on as well, has, how, how frustrating has that been, I think, since May inside the first 10 minutes? I think seven times going 1-0 down. How big a concern has that been? Uh, I understand that you ask the question all the time, but it's that all the goals were completely different. How early on it happens. Yeah, but it, it's the, 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 goal, the, the, goal, the last goal we conceded now could not be more different to... To all the other goals we conceded, it's, it, it was not a phase where we were where we were down, um, where um, Leeds uh, played around us, through us, over us, under us, everything like this. So it was we we set the goal up for them. So you cannot compare it. But yes, of course, it's concerning. But it's not that we, we go in each game and make sure we don't concede the first goal. That's any way clear in football. <laughs> so it's a, it's a clear thing. But um, it's not self-fulfilling prophecy or whatever that you that you. Um, talk about it and it happens or you don't talk about it then it happens. We had other games where it didn't happen. That's obviously very helpful. We all know that. Um, 
but I understand it's com the question is coming up. My answer cannot really change to that. Um, beyond all the problems we, we, we had so far this season, um, this is one of them, of course, and maybe the one who leads to a lot of others. Um, but in this specific game against Leeds, it was now not the main problem because we scored the equaliser pretty quickly after that. Um, so from there, we could have uh, won the game, but we didn't. Jim with headset. Buongiorno signor Klopp, buongiorno sono G.B. Olivero della Gazzetta dello Sport dell'Italia. Volevo chiederle due cose sul Napoli. La prima se pensa che il Napoli abbia eh, negli anni un po' imitato il Liverpool nel suo modo di giocare, vedo i terzini che fanno i registi, vedo gli esterni che eh, si propongono come ogni tanto abbiamo visto fare dagli, dagli esterni del Liverpool e poi se pensa che anche se non ha la necessaria esperienza possa arrivare fino in fondo in Champions League anche quando ci saranno le partite di eliminazione diretta. Grazie. Let's start with the last question. Yes, I think if they can play like they play in the moment, they have a good chance to go to the final. That's how it is. How I said, um, I think Napoli is in the moment the team in form in Europe. That's how it is. They do really well. Uh, did they copy our style? Of course not. Um, uh, Spalletti is a very, very experienced um, coach. Was all over the world, working everywhere pretty much. And it looks like now, really, it um, all his experience, he, he, with all the experience and a few really good signings and good decisions, he brought a group together um, which um, works on an exceptional high level together. It's, it looks really good, to be honest. But they defend differently to what we ever did. It's more man marking, more man orientated. But from there, yes, high energetic football, definitely. Everybody involved in pretty much everything, defend together, attack together. Yeah, I'm not sure they copied us, um, but it's uh, something we like to see as well. That's true. Paul Joyce. It's getting serious now. Obviously, you've had the Manchester City performance where the team played very well and maybe performances this season where the levels dropped. So, how do you, how as a coach, do you work out where the team is at? And do you ever, are you ever concerned that this team might have just reached the end of its cycle and oh, and, well, it's in, and it's in decline now? Is that a concern? So, we are obviously all out there, and we, and we do the job in public. And um, I think the judgment for this is will be. Later on in the season, let me say, in the, or maybe at the end of the season, um, where I say, okay, that's obviously now, that's it for this group of players, whatever, for, the, for this manager, if you want, whatever question will be asked then. Um, but um, in a moment, it's not 100% fair to judge this, the team, because that means the squad, obviously, because we never had them available. We miss. Um, Especially now up front, um, uh, uh, um, top quality, which is not helpful. It doesn't mean they are no top quality. They have that, but it's you, you with the amount of games you have, you, you usually will, would make changes. We can't do that. So um, similar situation, very similar situation in midfield for a long time already. Plenty of players were out or were out, came back, and these kind of things. Um, so we had this, had it pretty much everywhere. Um, so that. Uh, Even if it's unfair, it's fine because um, uh, that's normal. That's our life, and um, you're absolutely right to, to ask these kind of questions. But the answer will uh, will be, oh, yeah, the answer we have to answer that probably later, later on. But we are all, I don't know exactly how, what the word is, but um, we are all the, out there to be judged. It's completely fine, manager. Players. That's that's how life is, and in, in, foot, in professional football is. So, but in this moment, I don't think about that at all because we can't change it anyway. So um, we have to we have to go through this. And um, if you want to get out of something, very often you know, first of all you have to go through it, and that's what we are doing. Obviously, yes, with some highlights, but with some blows as well. We see that, um, and and we saw it now only recently, um, and. If you, you can't judge individual sing, uh, single moments and say, how can we do that? How about I did after the game, the second goal? Oh my God, I, I still woke up at night because of the goal. But um, anyhow, there's a, there's a reason why it happened. So is it the right reason? No. 
but you can see in the situations the, the, the boys um, want to win the game. That's actually the message from this situation, instead of defending the draw in this moment in, in time, because we don't want to have a, a throw-in for, for Leeds. You can see that, because then they have can play the time down, so if you get a throw-in, it's a minute. Um, we don't close the centre because we expect to win the ball. It means uh, we are already in a better position when we win the ball, and in the end, we, we from outnumbering leads in three different, possibly outnumbering leads in three different situations, we end up in a one v two in the box. So, and that's what happened. So, yes, that makes life not easier. Of course not. And um, we expect more from ourselves. The boys expect more. I expect more from them. And, and uh, but it's it's just we have to make sure that we. That we, that we get there with, with steps and we had in this game as well really good moments uh, the, the goalie had an exceptional game the Leeds goalie so um, and you have to you have to work on that as well and you have to use that as well that's the, the challenge in the moment yes um, uh, avoiding the, the mistakes obviously and keeping the good stuff in and then you you get there step by step this is now we can say it. Obviously, it, it was never a quick fix, and now it looks like it's not a quick fix. Uh, now it's proven, um, but we will not stop fighting. So it's not a question about. Um, and I probably I didn't read anything, but it probably will be everything will be judged about me now as well, which is absolutely fine. But when people look at me, then they will say it looks tired or whatever. That, that's uh, normal as well. I'm not. I'm not. I cannot. I cannot give that excuse. So much for me and stuff. It's not. So my job is not only being here in the moment when the sun is shining and we, we, uh, somebody gives us a trophy. My job is as well here to be there when we have to go to a really rough period. So and um, and I will do that with all I have, or if possible, even more, 100%. So I, I'm ready to play against Napoli, but I didn't play against Leeds physically. So that's it. And now we have to make sure we find um, 11 to start that we can give them a proper fight in a situation. If you touch it historically and say Liverpool should beat Napoli but for whatever reason, we had this game now, I think the third time in, in my Champions League time here. It was never an easy game. I can't remember one. We won one, right? A very important one. Um, and I forgot the result of the other one. What was the other? We won it. This one, one. Then drew the other one. <laughs> so, um, it is always, always tough and it's this year especially tough, but we are through uh, in the group, that's the positive and um, now let's make um, something special out of this game for us where we can, because football, the pitch, you know the size of the pitch, we have to, we have to win challenges and the, the, the whole thing starts with win the first challenge. Celebrate it in the stand, celebrate it on the pitch, not with running around, just with feeling it, that's the first step in the right direction and go from there. And I'm ready for that. And um, the people gave me the sign after the game. They are ready for it as well because it was now obviously not the longest lap of appreciation we ever had. But um, when we went to the stands and you could hear the people um, singing or whatever, then uh, in that moment you you realize, okay, that's really special. Here, so let's just use this and go from here. It's it's a rough moment, no doubt about that. And nobody is flying here like life is great. No, but there's only one chance to face it. Go for it. And that's what we will do. Julius? The first who knows that she needs a mic. I guess it's just to follow <laughs> on great. what you were saying in terms of then the challenge that obviously it presents itself. You spoke about, I think, maybe earlier this month or last month about how oh, you're embracing well, we this challenge. But since, yeah, um, compared to a couple of seasons ago, when I know there weren't crowds, but you had the setbacks then. Um, with the injuries and everything else. So how, how big a challenge is this one to put it right and find that consistency compared to the one a couple of years ago? And maybe how much more of your time do you have to invest in putting it right as well? Yeah, look, it's, it's now the situation now is that it, um, when, I, when I say it's not a quick fix, then it doesn't mean we always showed obviously that, we, that there's the next game and we are there. So consistency is our um, um, stability. Is our is our is our issue. So and um, there were highs and there were obviously too many lows in the season. That's clear. Um, but we cannot think about, about um, what happens in a few months or whatever. There's the next game coming up, and that's our life. And then there's the next game coming up against Tottenham away, and then there's the next game coming up Derby, and then it's the next game coming up Southampton. None of them will come here and just say, okay, Liverpool is in a difficult moment. Um, let's give them an easy run through or whatever. 
it's actually the opposite way. They all smell the chance, and that's what they what they want to use. That's our situation. And if that game is over, then if and that's long for me from here. But um, if that game is over, then we can hope that all the players from the from the World Cup come back healthy and all these kind of things and then we can go from there with the rest of the group we have a proper kind of preseason like a chance for us where we can reset a few things and 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 and, and go from there but then we start away at Aston Villa with a new manager so the, the, the preparation I know now already will be extremely difficult because we have no idea what they will what, what they will do but that's that situation and I, we, we, we are nobody's allowed to hide from it and I don't it's just a situation, and I know uh, long enough in the business there's always a chance to win the next game. And if you do that from there, you can go. And there's always a chance to 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 put things right. And if you do that in the short term, then you have to make sure that you can do it in in the long term as well. And that's what we are working on. But it's not now that we that somebody should expect. Um, we just start flying now like this. Especially because um, of the quality of the opponents, because they have their own idea as well. Carl. Hi, Jürgen. You, you said earlier that the Leeds goal had you waking up at night. Um, is that a regular thing for you? Is it a common thing for you? Have you had a few this season? Waking up in the night thinking about. No, no, I'm 55. I go a couple of times per night on the toilet. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why I wake up usually, but this time the goal was in my mind, yeah. I just on on tomorrow night's performance. What's the the most important thing you want to see from the performance tomorrow? After all those things I answered, now you ask, ask me that question, Carl. <coughs> yeah, yeah, fight. Do you think I want to see now that we that we start um, um, passing around them back heels um, and and bicycle kicks and these kind of things? Of course not. We have to work and we will. That's what, and for that we have to make sure that the boys we, we line up are ready to do that. And then we will do it, and then we will see what we get for it. The problem is Napoli will fight as well. So, but that's fine. That's Champions League competition, highest level. How is that? Really, a team in top form in the moment. Whatever they, whoever they line up, they can make changes. Each striker scores, and and all these kind of things. That's their situation. We had that situation as well from time to time. So I'm not jealous or whatever. It's fine, well deserved. But we have to be the opponent. They don't want to face, but in the moment I think the mood in the Napoli camp is pretty good, rightly so. They think, okay, let's uh, let's give them the next knock, and we have to fight against that. I knew you would say fight, by the way, but I just wondered how easy it is to switch that on because there've been some performances where that fight hasn't been there. So how do you how do you ensure that, that fight is there? Which performances where we didn't fight? Forest, maybe. <laughs> That's, again, our life. It's completely, but you're, you're all right and I'm wrong. That's how it is. But um, the, to say we didn't fight against Forrest is, is, is actually, yeah, still not right. Um, because we, yeah, you lose a game and that's how it is. You lose a game and then people tell you you didn't, you didn't try hard enough. You can fight obviously in a different way against Forrest. We, 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 we ran against the wall, um, a deep defending wall, and conceded a, 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 a completely unnecessary goal. Um, and yes, we could have played better, we could have done a lot of things better, but the boys fight. And it's not a game where you now can outrun the, the, the opponent because you have the ball all the time and, and run against the wall. So that's a, that's a different thing. The fight is there. Do we do it always with 100%? For that you need um, the full conviction about what you're doing as well and you need the full um, physical ability to do that. So let me say like this, the, the, the fighting spirit is not our problem this moment that's there this group this group in that aspect didn't change and will not change it's like the guy didn't change but all of a sudden everybody thinks you're not trying hard enough you know don't do this hard enough and do not that hard enough. that's the life we live not the, not since yesterday that's completely normal I have I said I don't expect you to to think more about our situation than I do that's don't think that would be possible anyway um, but you come here and ask a few questions and uh, more or less happy with the answers, that's fine. But my life around is actually the job. Um, I, I used to say that press conferences are like holiday. I cannot say that anymore because facing your questions is, uh, when you lose, is really tough. Eight interviews after a game, you lose. And when you still have not sorted everything, what you think about it is a real, it's a real torture. But again, that's part of the job. 
and I had another look in my weight slip, and that's what I'm paid for. So um, and pretty pretty good as well. So it's okay. You can criticize. Absolutely right. We have to work. Last one for Lady at the back, and then we have to make way for James Milner. That will be good fun, by the way. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie. Salve Titti in Prota, canale 21 Napoli. La domanda che le faccio è proprio sul Napoli, dopo aver sentito le, le belle parole di elogio che ha fatto alla squadra anche Luciano Spalletti. Una squadra così fa più paura o accende più il desiderio di rivalsa da, nella squadra che affronta il Napoli? Yeah, it motivates us. So when, when I speak about the positive aspects of the Napoli game in a moment, it's it's because I'm a, I'm I'm a football lover. So and what they are doing. So over the few weeks now since we played Napoli, there were a lot of some opportunities to watch first highlights and now the last three games again to prepare the game, and it's just really good. That's how it is. But no, there's no. I'm not afraid or I'm not scared or whatever you you think. It's just yeah, tough challenge. Um, but that's all. Um, I really respect what they are doing, um, and I know Luciano is respecting what we are doing as well. <laughs> um, let me say at least over the last few years. Um, and now our situation is slightly more difficult than the Napoli situation, obviously. And I know, still can remember how that feels. You never can be sure that in the next game it, the performance will be like this as well. When you are on a on a winning streak, you have to you have to do a lot and make sure that you are. Really that you stay on track. So, no, I'm not scared. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie.